Hi there, in this video I'm going to be looking at using Adobe Premiere Pro on the Surface Studio. When I'm using Adobe Premiere on the Surface Studio, I like to bring the content right up close to me. Because I can work with the pen and with touch at the same time, the Surface Studio gives me a feeling of really directly working with the content in a way that mouse and keyboard doesn't. I still like to keep the keyboard close because I really rely on a lot of keyboard shortcuts when I'm video editing. And with the pen you can get really direct with the content. So if I wanted to, for example, cut a clip, I can just grab the razor tool or I can just hit the keyboard shortcut for that and just go straight in with the pen, whereas I'd be normally using a mouse and trying to coordinate that movement, with the pen I can be really direct and really precise on the screen. With the Surface Studio, you can buy the optional Surface Dial, and that adds another element to video editing in Adobe Premiere. If I select a playback window, I can use the dial to move frame by frame through my video. Or, if I click on the timeline, the dial will allow me to scroll back and forwards across the timeline. If you press and hold the button on the top of the dial down, uh, you'll see that there's a custom Adobe Premiere Surface Dial function, which is for jog and shuttle. So if I select that mode and rotate the dial, it will adjust the playback speed of my video so I can go forwards, make it go faster, or roll it back the other way to go in reverse. So that adds some interesting elements to using Adobe Premiere on the Surface Studio. I really like working up close with the content like this. But I will say, um, the footage that I'm showing you here on this particular video that I'm editing at the moment was some drone footage I took with my DJI Mavic. I shot this video at 1080p in 60 frames per second. 60 frames per second adds a lot of content, a lot of disk space or, um, or file size to those particular videos. And occasionally when I'm playing back, especially in high speed, I will see some slowdowns in the playback speed of the Surface Studio. Now I suspect that these particular discs are not really ideally suited to video editing and that's unfortunate in a device like this. Um, and perhaps you know of a way to improve that, uh, maybe to tweak the experience a little bit, please let me know in the comments below. But if you are somebody like me who maybe is doing some YouTube work um, and video editing is just one of the tasks that you do on a daily basis, then the Surface Studio could be a really good fit for that.